In this video, I will be demonstrating how to create a Power Automate flow to import paper forms to iTrack. This process makes use of three powerful technologies available from Microsoft. The first one is Power Automate, formerly known as Microsoft Flow, which lets you create automated workflows to implement business processes. The second technology we're using is AI Builder. This is a tool that allows businesses to harness the power of AI without requiring specialized coding or data science skills. The third technology is robotic process automation. This helps you automate manual processes in desktop or web-based applications. Um, the first step of this process is basically to create the form type in iTrack for the type of form that you want to import. This is basically the digital version of the form you want to import. I've created a sample one here, a simple incident form. This uh, contains the date and time that the incident occurred, the employee that recorded, reported the incident, the employee that was involved in the incident, the location, and the details. And it use a, uses a couple different types of controls um, that are available through iTrack, and it's, it's good for the demo here to see a, different type, a few different types of controls uh, being used and automated. Um, once you've created the simple incident form, um, the next um, step is to basically create and train the AI builder model. Uh, this can be done right from the Power Automate interface. To get to it, you click on AI builder, build, and then once it loads in, you select the type of model it is that you want to create. Um, for this example here, we use the form processing model because we want it to be able to process those paper forms and extract data from them. Um, I've already created a model here, so I'm just going to jump to that quickly. Um, I, this is basically a form processing model for the simple incident form. Um, you can see here um, an example of one of the training documents. Um, you do need a number of documents available, uh, actually a minimum of five in order to train the AI builder model. Um, this is just like a, an, an image of one of those documents. Um, once you've finished training the AI Builder model, you're presented with a page that lets you go through and customize the automatically detected fields or select and deselect ones based on what it is that you need to be imported from that form. And this uh, model here, you can see the selected fields or the occurred date and time, the reporting employee, the involved employee, the location, and the details. Um, once you finish creating the, the AI Builder model, the next step is to basically cre um, create a web UI flow that will automate the entering of the data into iTrack using um, an automated version of the Chrome web browser. I have one that's created here as well, but um, when you are initially creating one, you have the ability to record a flow. So you can basically create a new UI flow um, and then, you know, start recording the, the process of going through an iTrack form, filling out all the fields. Um, once you finish doing that, you'll end up with something like what you see here. Um, the first step here you can see here is basically opening the URL to the form that you want, want to enter data to. Um, after that, it basically clicks on the field with the occurred date and time and basically types the value into that. What you see here is a defined variable. So what this means is that this will be populated by a dynamic value, which will be the data that's uh, passed into this step from the AI builder, which will detect it and extract it from your form. And uh, basically the next step we see here is selecting the first employee field, which is you know the employee that reported the incident. And again, we want to select that employee based on a variable that's passed into this step. Same with the second um, employee label, which will be the employee that's involved in the incident. Um, the next one is basically clicking on the location label, you know, setting the location and typing the information into it, and then saving and closing that location pop up. And the final um, set, uh, field for entering the data is the details field that basically just clicks on that field and will type the data into it automatically. Once all the data has been entered, the save link is clicked to save the form, and then the web browser is closed. In order to tie all of this together, we're going to, uh, or, or you would need to create a Power Automate flow. In this example, I've already created a flow here, so we'll just open that up and edit it. 
So here in the first step of the flow, I currently have, have it set up to manually trigger a flow. So what, what that means is I basically just upload one of the you know scans or images of a form and that will fire off the flow and you know process the document that I've uploaded. However, there are quite a lot of different triggers that you can use in order to trigger a flow. Um, a few examples of those are you know, when a file is created in a folder in SharePoint or when a file is created in OneDrive or when an email arrives in Outlook 365 in Office 365 Outlook. And uh, there, there's a lot of ways that let you sort of have this flow uh, trigger automatically just by like copying images over or sending an image to an email address or something like that. So there's there's quite a lot of different triggers available and it offers a lot of flexibility into how you're going to get your forms into this flow in order to be ad automatically added into iTrack. Um, once you have your trigger set up for your flow, you can drag and drop another step. In this case, it's the prediction step. Um, this uses that model that we previously created in the AI builder and basically what it will do is it'll go through the image that has come from the previous step in the flow. It'll recognize the different fields and extract the data for each of the fields. Once that's done, the next step is called and that's basically run a UI flow for the web. Um, this uses the UI flow that we created previously and uses the Google Chrome web browser. The run mode is attended. Attended basically means that it will run while you're logged into the computer and you'll see it actually open up and go through the process of entering all the data into the form. There is also an unattended mode available where you can have it just run automatically in the background without any input or seeing any of the, the stuff that's going on. Um, the first field that we have here is the date time field. I've wrapped it in a function to basically format the date and time in a format that you know the iTrack form is looking for. Um, I, this is the employee um, that reported the incident. Um, I've just um, wrapped it in some code to clean up a little bit of the data that comes in. Same with the employee that was involved in the incident. And you can see the location and details fields just take the value that's you know pulled straight from the form by the by the AI builder action. Um, basically, once we have all of our actions set up, the next step is to actually run the flow. And in this example, I'm going to choose that I'll perform the trigger action, which in this case is just uploading an image. Um, just so you can take a look and see the image that's being uploaded. This is a sample version, a sample paper version of the iTrack incident form with some fairly messy printing just so it gives the AI builder a, a, a little bit of work to do to see how well it can pull the information out. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload this image to my flow now. And I'm going to select the document type. It's a JPEG image and then I will go to run flow. Once your flow is running, you can go to the flow runs page and what this will do is it'll actually give you a live view of what is happening with your flow. So you can see how it's running, how fast each step, to, how fast each step is going and once it hits the UI flow, um, you'll see a window pop up. This is basically running the UI web flow, which is automating the input of the data with Chrome. And the source for this data, again, is that image. Uh, it's been extracted. Uh, the information has been extracted from that image using AI Builder. And it's pulled out the information on which fields have which data. And it's basically just going through and automatically populating it for you. And once it's finished uh, entering all the information, it saved the form and closed the window. Um, one thing that's actually very powerful about this flow runs page as well is that it lets you track all the inputs and outputs that have gone into and out of each of your steps. So if you're having any problems with your flow or something's not quite working correctly, you can view all of that information here. So if we go to the UI flow for the web, you can see all the inputs here. Um, you know, the web browser, you know, the date time field, the reported by employee involved, the location, the details and basically the outputs from that step as well that can go into other steps as well if you do need additional flows. Um, this pretty much covers all the steps of you know, setting up an automated flow to import paper forms to iTrack. Uh, thank you for watching and if you do have any questions or are interested in setting something like this up for your environment, environment uh, please reach out to your iTrack consultant.